Hi you guys, how you doing? Welcome to Tip and Drew's How To's. Today I'm going to start a video series of me teaching you how to use Cinema 4D. I've been getting tons of requests about this ever since I started doing intros and things like that. I just recently got back into Cinema 4D. Uh, while I was doing my YouTube videos uh, since college. Bear with me a little bit. I am also just upgraded from R12 to R13 and I did change the interface a little bit so bear with me as I adapt a little bit too. Today I'm going to show you how to build a box and we'll start out with a box because it's pretty simple obviously and it'll show you how to use like the knife, the split, the scale, uh, rotate, um, you'll learn how to work with the layers, um, make an object editable, so let's go ahead and go over to the screen here and as you can see right here I have my box already made and if I render it out give you a preview this is what it looks like since this is probably your first time opening it it looks pretty complicated let's go ahead and go to file new and we'll start all over and I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the interface first alright we'll go ahead and start from the top left and make our way to the bottom right um, we're starting, these are your menu options up here, obviously. Um, don't worry about animate, um, simulate, render, mode graph, character, plugin, script, or window. The only thing I'd worry about with window is if you mess up your layout and you want to reset it back to how you opened it, just go to customization, layouts, and hit startup again. This is our live selection tool up here. Um, this is our move tool, scale, rotate. These are selected right here, so if you want to move along the Z, X, or Y, this is our render preview button. This is actually renders and shows you what you have right now, and obviously we don't have nothing. This is our render button, and this is our render options button. This right here is our shape, spline. If you click and hold, you can see all the different splines. Our nerves. You'll know what that means later. Um, I, I believe that NURBS is C4D specific. This is our arrays, and this is our bend objects, and our floor, our camera, and our lightings. Okay, over here you have your model button. So like if you're moving or scaling, you want to scale the model. This is if you want to move, scale, rotate the, uh, the texture. This is points, edges, planes, and this is our axes tool so if you want to move scale or rotate your axes I feel bad introducing all these tools to you and you don't know what they are yet but it's very good to familiarize yourself with the interface and what you're working with this is our I'm gonna call our stage area um, if you look right here uh, you'll see four buttons and you notice that you can't move with clicking and dragging in here you actually gotta move with this so you click and hold and you drag and that's how you move You this one's our zoom, so if you click and move right, you zoom in, left, you zoom out, click and hold to rotate, and then this is our button that you're going to use to split your view into four views. That's going to give you your perspective view over here, your top view, right, and front, and you're actually going to use this a lot because it's going to make your editing and modeling so much easier. And then down here, you this is your texturing, and all your textures will be done here. Over here is going to be where your layers are displayed, and then this is where your like properties of whatever you have um, will be displayed down here, so you can edit them. We're going to go ahead and get started, and it's going to be really simple um, to start out with a cube. All you have to do is just click your cube object, and it's our it's the by default it's on cube, but if you click and hold, you can change it to whatever shape you want. So let's go ahead and click for the cube, and this is what you get. It already feels like you're doing something. If you noticed when I clicked that button that cube came into our layers over here and I have all the properties of the cube down here. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create our planes for the box to open. So the this is the make editable tool and this is pretty important. Um, right now we're in like what I'd call simple mode and if you click the make editable it really allows you to it, it's, it's destructive meaning like you can't go back once you make it editable but once you do you can basically destruct it let's click that and if you go to we're actually going to use the plane so if you click the plane right here in the left toolbar 
and we're going to click the move tool you can see that it's highlighting anything that I hover over so I want to select the top plane but look over here on the on the um, on the other views if you look on the top view you'll see that the top is selected and we're actually going to use this view to do some slicing we're going to go ahead and use the knife tool which is under mesh create tools and knife and we're going to go over probably like one two three four five six seven we'll go over seven and just click and holding the shift button that keeps it perfectly straight because if you don't they can go anywhere but once you hold shift it goes perfectly straight so holding shift and let go we have a perfectly cut plane and we're going to again use the move tool click away we're going to select that plane make sure the plane is selected over here and move tool if you find yourself getting all messed up just stop and think for a second and look what tools you have selected so we're going to move the plane we're going to select it and hit delete now when you, that happens you're going to notice that the inside is hollowed out now to rotate this guy you're going to notice that we're having a problem if we try to rotate it now it's going to mesh with the whole box we don't need that we actually need it to be separate so what we're going to do is and you notice over here we still only have one layer we're going to right click when you have the plane selected you're going to right click and go to split and when that happens you're going to see here it actually duplicated it and made only that plane but the problem is it still has the plane on the box over here we're going to rename this one box and we're going to rename this one panel so this is our box we're going to want to select that plane again and delete it so we have our box and we have our plane and that's it so what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate it the best way to do that is to actually come down here in the bottom this is our position our size and our rotation down here so it's if you just type in 40 degrees right here and hit apply you can see it automatically rotated but we're gonna need negative 40 I get to show you guys the axes thing now you notice our axes is a little bit messed up because it rotated with the object so now I have to move it up and then down and then over it's a pain in the butt so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna select this axis tool right here in the in the left toolbar and if I'm going a little bit faster you just pause it I'm pretty sure I am but I only have like a little window in the YouTube video so axis modification rotate we're gonna come down here in the bottom corner again and we're gonna hit zero we want to reset it back to zero degrees so once we do that you notice that the object didn't rotate but just the axes did and that's what you're looking for but make sure that whenever you do that you unclick the axis tool because whatever you do is gonna do it only to the axis and not the pro uh, the object so once you do that, go ahead and go back to the move tool and look at the top view again and you notice that it's near the middle. We're going to actually move it over to the right. And if you zoom in, you can either use the scroll on your mouse. Again, you can use this right here to click and drag to zoom in. So go ahead and move it along the X axis until it matches up with that solid black line which is your box. The farther you zoom in, the more accurate you can get so now we have our box with one panel we're going to take the easy route and just copy the one that we have now and rotate it and move it to the other side so let's go ahead and move this guy using our top view we're going to line it up let's go ahead and rotate 90 degrees and now we'll move it so using our top view let's go ahead and move it over and use your perspective view to make sure that you got it good if you want to check it go ahead and hit that render button that I showed you up here so to make our other two panels what we're going to do is um, I'm going to show you what's called null objects it's another fancy word for a group go to our layer side and we're going to select the panels both panels we're going to right click and hit group objects and that creates us a null object so we're going to go ahead and control C and control V we're going to rotate these guys 90 degrees. After we do that, we got to move them. So using the top view, we're going to go down until it lines up. And then over. And again, use your perspective view to make sure everything lines up perfect. Hit the render view one time. And we have a pretty good box. So there you have it. You just made your first object in Cinema 4D. It really wasn't that hard and it was really good because it got to expose you to 
the knife tool, the split option, the printable of objects such as the cube and whatnot. Oh, it also exposed you to the make edible, which is pretty important. It allowed you to use all the interfaces right out on your first tutorial, and it really was not that hard. So, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be putting out a mass amount of these C4D tutorials along with files so you guys can follow along. Um, again, I'm not the best because I have not got into this in like, what, three years? Um, but I'm going to share as much knowledge as I can about this program and help you guys get started. Um, send me some links to your pictures that you guys have created and let me know how you guys are doing. If you have any questions, which I'm sure you will, again, let me know down in the comments. If I helped you out, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Stick around.